My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training, and in today's Everyday Office video, I'm going to show you how to create cascading dropdowns, meaning a dropdown menu that is dependent on another dropdown menu. A really simple example of this is if you decide to choose a specific make of vehicle, then that would decide what models are available to you. If you decide to select Ford vehicles, then you should only be able to see the models that are Ford models, Tauruses and Focuses. Foci, I don't know, whatever. Now, what we can do here to make this as easy as possible is to create each one of these sets of data as its own little table that has a name that is as simple as possible. When I mean simple as possible, what I mean is if you choose Ford under makes, well then it should go to a table called Ford. And if you choose Chevy under makes, it should go to a table called Chevy. You shouldn't choose a, a vehicle a make called Chevy and go to a table called Chevrolet because that disconnect is going to make your life more complicated than necessary. So what we need to do now that I've got this little set of data is click on the first set. So that I click on the makes right here. On the insert tab at the top of my screen, I choose table and I make sure that it knows that my table has headers on it, meaning that this top option is not actually one of the items in the table. It's the label from the top of the column. So I hit OK here and it's important that I take the time once I've created this table to go up here into the top left corner where it says that this table is called table five and give it a name that is as simple to use as possible. In this case, that is makes and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to repeat this. Click on a set of data. Notice that I've got an empty column between makes and Ford and another empty column between Ford and Chevy. We need to keep these as independent tables to keep all of this as easy as possible. So I click on the next little set of data, that is the Ford vehicles. Click on insert, choose table. Make sure that it knows that your table has headers. Ford is not a model of car, it is the top of the column. Click OK. And again, I'm naming this table the easiest thing possible, which is Ford, because it matches the entry from makes. I'm going to repeat here. Click on the next set of data, insert a table. My table has headers, click OK, and call it not Chevrolet, Chevy. Click on the next set of data, insert tab, table button. Make sure your table has headers and name it exactly what it's named everywhere else, which is Chrysler. Now, once I do this, if I go to cell B4 and I use data validation on this, it's going to be very, very simple. I do need to use the indirect function because I'm using the name of the table to reference the cells and not just the cells themselves. And you can see that in the earlier video that I did about dynamic dropdown menus. We'll see that here in a second. Click here on cell B4, go to the data tab up at the top of the screen, and choose data validation over here on the right. Now we want to allow not any value, but all the values that are in a list. And like I said here, you could highlight from cell E5 to E7. But the problem is that if you highlight from cell E5 to cell E7, then it will never update in case you add another make, another make, another make, or in case Chrysler drops off the table. So instead, we use the equal sign indirect function, open the parentheses, and that indirect function takes uh, simply, in quotation marks, makes, oops, makes as the name of the table here, close quotation marks, close parentheses. And when I click OK, what I should see very easily is that the entries from that table are on the dropdown. Now notice I told you to make it as easy as possible here because it's a one column table called makes. All I had to do is say, go to that table and grab me the values. If it had been multiple columns, I would have had to tell you which column to grab. I don't have that problem here. Now comes the interesting part. Here in cell B5, I need to tell it to use cell B4 to inform it as to what the dropdown is supposed to look like. So I again go to the data tab. I again go to data validation over here on the right. Choose not any value, but a drop-down menu list right there. 
And again, the source is equal sign, indirect, open parentheses, and then you just want to take whatever it says in cell B4 and then close the parentheses. So whatever it says in cell B4, I don't know what it's going to say. Use that, look for that somewhere in the spreadsheet. Now, obviously, if there's nothing in cell B4, it's going to have a problem. It's going to break. But if there is something in cell B4, then we'll go ahead and uh, find that option here. So I click OK. Click Yes. There we go. So there's nothing on that drop down menu, right? Because there's nothing in cell B4. But when I use the drop down menu and choose Ford, now the second drop down menu says Taurus or Focus. And the essential part here is if I go in here and I say the F150 is another model under the Ford make, that drop down menu should expand to include F150. And for that matter, if I say that there's also Audis and BMWs, under makes, when I click the drop down menu, I should see those options here. Now, if we want to go one step further, what we could do is we can make one more table here at the end called all, right? And we can put in Taurus, Focus, F 150, Cruise, 200, 300. Okay. Now in this table right here, again, I would use the insert tab, top of the screen, choose table. My table has headers, click OK. And I'm going to name this table all, A-L-L, -L, hit enter. And into the makes, I'm going to add one more new entry right up here called all. And so now if I use the drop down menu here, I'll see all as an option. And on the second drop down menu, there it is. Every single entry from the all table. Unfortunately, I don't know any way that without macros or something like that to create a table that is the combination of all the other tables, you know, like a pivot table or something like that would do it. But I don't know any simple way to just automatically have them added in. Um, so we have this option here that if we choose all or if we choose Chrysler, we'll see the options on that cascading drop down menu. So cascading meaning that if whatever you choose on the first drop down menu that informs what the second drop down menu should have on it. And you can see that we built independent tables for each one of these entries so that we wouldn't have any complications in making it go and find the thing that we were interested in.